Hello, today I would like to show you the problem I've got with my condenser dryer. This is the model number. And the problem is quite interesting. The dryer worked for a couple of minutes and then completely turned off. You cannot see anything on the display. The only thing you can do, you can go to the off position and then after a couple of minutes you can turn it on and it starts working. This is a quite interesting. I was assume there will be a problem with a clogged piping inside, but I checked the, the water holes, the pump and that part is working. The condenser tank is filling up, so everything here is working just fine. I believe if there, is, there will be a problem with the humidity sensor, then it will just end up quicker instead of shutting down. I also opened the part with the heater. I found there a thermal switch, but it have a reset button. So if that will be a case, it's not like a self healing type with the metallic inside, you have to press it. So this is not the, the cause, if it will be just overheat to the moment when the bimetallic will snap and disconnect power, I would have to press it manually. So, and I believe there is a, also a NTC or PTC for controlling the temp in the digital way. But I believe that if there will be a problem, we've got some kind of error code instead of shutting down completely everything. And this is the programmer board. And I just start thinking there might be some kind of problem with the power issue. And maybe the problem is that not that the device is heated, but just the time. And maybe the power supply have problem because I've got a similar symptoms where the, the switching was dead. This is the main IC that's controlling the, the power supply section. And I think I'm going to, maybe there is a, just a cold joint inside. I'm going to start to replace this device because it's very cheap. I already checked this capacitor. As you can see my sloppy job and it was okay. We've got a resistor that, that will be most likely a, a fuse resistor. I start to believe that something with the power is wrong and I believe I'm going to try to replace the element and maybe I will manage to fix that. If I will, then I'm going to pause the rest of the video to give you an answer for, for that kind of problem. So stay with me. And quick update. It's working almost an hour and no problem, no shutdown. As you can see everything I've got open, but looks promising looks very promising okay so about two hour elapsed and everything looks very good we finish no shutdown no completely blackout we are on the end everything looks dry and the only two components that i change is that capacitor, this is the first one, the high voltage one from the power supply 
and it had a good ESR, it had had a good capacity, but it's cheap and I just decided to replace that because I know there is a problem with the the power section. So it may be his fault maybe when it warm up or something like this. And the second component is the switching IC and that's the IC. After replacing the two components device working great just like new okay so as you can see and here after closing it down everything is working just fine we make another portion of drying the time is zero we hear beep no shutdown everything working fine and we have a good fix so thank you very much for watching See you next time and bye bye.